This is size 12 white gub grub hook, heavy gauge grub hook, and thread is red. And I'm going to explain all the material as I go along. So start below the eye. All the way down. Actually, and come back. I'm going to create a segment in the body segmentation. So I'm catching this is a clear mono thread. It is about uh, one and a half pound in strength. Like you saw me on my other videos when I was tying a white market. This is a red market actually for the river fishing and you know carp fishing. You can use it for both. Now for the, <clears throat> I'm using a red latex rubber. This is like a one and a half millimeter wide, uh, sorry, thick. And if you can cut this two to three millimeter, depend on the size of the hook, and uh, and create a catching point, just an angle, because it's stretchy. So once you don't have to do, I mean, deep angle, just a side one, just a small one, and catch it in the middle. So as you can see, once you stretch this, I still have enough, you know, thin side left. So, and it's a very simple to tie like. Okay. Um, now here's some time, I roughly cut this in angles so we can have a thinner head. I mean, just, as you can see, just about like this. If you cut it, just give it a little cut on the side. If you don't have to do that, I just want to finish this nicely so we can have kind of thin head. So bring this, overlap this each turn, keep coming up. Now, as you can see, we're coming towards the thinner end and catch this. I'm going to square, secure this properly. And cut this off very close. Now I'm going to do is finish off with this. Red one. And bring this mono through the each segment. Now this could be a little tricky but you with a little practice you can do this. If you tie a couple or three or four you'll get better. I'll keep practicing like I always say. Now see bringing this mono through makes a big difference. Take your time. And uh, I'm just going to finish this and then show you. Right, so I'm going to add some varnish on it to just bring some shine on it. So thin coat of nail varnish and let it dry so this single coat is enough to make say uh, it looks really nice after varnish is dry so I will show you once it's dry so there you have it 
another one of my favorite red market I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching